Welcome back to the channel everyone. This week I've got a battery shunt to install. We're going to discuss what it is, what it does, why you need one and get it installed ready for This is a Renergy Shunt 3000 so it comes in a nice box. The operating manual, some packaging, warranty card and this is the device itself. So it's kind of funky. I'll take the covers off in a second and we'll have a look about how we're going to install this and what we need to do exactly. But also in the box you get these two red cables. Believe not read the instructions yet, but I think that's a temperature sensor of some sort and some fixing screws. Right, so I've whipped the covers off and I've had a quick read of the instructions. Now it seems reasonably straightforward. Hopefully, you'll be able to see all this. So the shunt connects to the negative side of the battery here, and then you connect your existing negative buzz bar to the other terminal and over here hopefully I can try and get it in focus there's two ports there B1 and B2 and now the those you connect to your batteries using the supplied little red wires and they're the positives but B1 goes to your leisure battery B2 goes to your van ba um, your van battery So what is this thing actually doing? Why do we need this at all? So this sits in your battery system and is able to monitor accurately the load and condition of the battery. Now, previously with my system, I've had the old version of the Bluetooth app. With my current system, the Renergy system, I have a DC to DC with MPPT built in with a Bluetooth module which sends data. So Renergy support basically said to me that the state of charge readings in the old app were kind of guesswork, useless, not really any good, therefore it's not in the new app. So I raised the question of how am I going to actually measure the capacity of the battery, you know how much charge I've got left and everything else that's going on and they suggested this shunt. So that's what we're going to do. So we've got the lid off the bed to gain good access here. Now we've done a couple of videos in and around the system, so it's all probably familiar if you're returning. If you're a first time you're here, go and check out my other videos, you can see those. So we've got the MPPT controller here. That's the Bluetooth module. And I'm thinking we're probably gonna sight it here. So what I'm gonna do first is get it mounted and then we'll look at running the wires where they need to be. Okay, so we've got it mounted up here. I'll bring you in closer in a second. So the first job we're gonna do is figure out how we're gonna run these wires. So this terminal is gonna now connect to the negative buzz bar, whereas before that went straight to the battery. And then we're gonna put a new wire from here, this terminal, down to the negative battery. But before we do any of that, we're going to turn off and isolate everything in here. Okay, so now I've connected up the two new wires. This new one is going to go to the negative terminal on the battery. The one that used to is here, and that goes to the buzz bar. The ground buzz bar is now on this side and these are all tightened up and put in place. So now we need to deal with putting these little live cables into B1 and B2. So B1 goes to the leisure battery and B2 goes to the starter battery. So let's take hold of B1 first and let's try and figure out where we're going to actually put that. Okay, so the little positive cables are in now. So B1 goes to the leisure battery. So I'll put that on in a minute when we're ready to try it out. 
B2 I needed to connect to the van battery itself. So what I've done is this feed comes from the van battery all the way over to the DC to DC controller. So I've taken the cover off there and I've put it there. So now I've just got to tighten everything up, double check everything, power the system on and we'll see if it actually works. Right, so with everything connected now, the B1s and the B2s, I've powered back up the system. Everything's lighting up and there's a solid orange light on the controller. So I'm going to try and pair it with my phone. So with the app open, you're going to try and add the device. You do that by clicking the plus sign in the top corner. So we're scanning for the Bluetooth device and it's found it, which is good news. So it's selected both devices there, the, the DC to DC and the shunt. So we're just going to confirm that and hopefully it will connect. So that's come up really well. Both devices there. You can see the charge rate is at 100% and some basic stats in there. You need to go in and set your amp hours for the battery, which I'll do in just a moment. So now we've got everything reading in the app. I've put on some devices. I've put on the LED lights, the fridge and the roof fan. You can see the estimated runtime there was just over a day, a day and two hours. And it gives you the load as well. So that all looks like it's working correctly. So everything looks like it's working there. So only thing that remains is to tidy up the cables and put the covers back on. And that should be a job done. So that's another little upgrade done in the van. So that worked pretty good. Install wasn't too bad at all. Um, it seems to work really well. So we'll have an idea as we go along how effective that would be working with the DC controller. Because I noticed when I was in the app, you kind of lost the DC controller and had to manually put it back. But it could be a energy thing. But at least I now got an accurate um, time of how much battery runtime I've got. And I can see the loads more accurately and stuff like that. So I said install wasn't. So just to say thanks very much for watching the video. Um, if you could like and subscribe, it really helps me a load. And if you want to support the channel in any, any way, there's a link in the description for buy me a coffee. So if you would do that, that would be absolutely amazing. But stay tuned to the channel. We've got part two of the CCTV video coming up soon. I've got all the parts now, so we're pretty much ready to go with that. Um, and that will be upcoming soon. So like I said, thanks all again for watching and I'll see you next time.